I told y'all six months ago that Jordan Love and the Packers had a new secret weapon in Jaden Reed. Now, the rookie wide receiver is no longer a secret. He's the Packers' best weapon, and here's why. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Scott Proctor. You know the deal by now. As always, we love hearing feedback from you all receiving comments like this one right here. But stay tuned to the end of this episode to see if you can guess the answer to today's trivia question right down here below. To today's topic, though, this season obviously hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows in Green Bay for the Packers, but Jordan Love had the first 300-yard passing game of his career on Sunday in a win over the LA Chargers. Romeo Dobbs and Dontavian Wicks both did their thing on Sunday, combining for 144 yards and a touchdown on eight catches. But it was Jaden Reed who once again proved to be the offense's spark plug. The rookie wide receiver out of Michigan State got the Packers on the scoreboard by rushing for a 32-yard touchdown on a well-designed misdirection play. Reed is electric with the ball in his hands, and that touchdown run was his eighth play of 30-plus yards this season and his 10th play of 20-plus yards. Both of those marks lead the Packers. After the game, Packers head coach Matt LaFleur had this to say about Reed. He is a dog. He's a war daddy, and um, he, he goes out there, and he is such a competitor and got a lot of confidence in him. He continues to make big-time plays. Now, I don't know exactly what a war daddy is, but what I do know is that Matt LaFleur has finally figured out that if the Packers need a big play, Jaden Reed is the guy. And as a result, he's now scored in back-to-back -back games. Over the last three weeks, nobody on the Packers has more targets from Jordan Love than Reed. And the Rook is making the most of his opportunities. Jordan Love's passer rating when targeting Reed is 116.9, which would lead the league. That passer rating drops to 97 when Love is targeting Dobbs, and it drops even further to 45 when Love is targeting Christian Watson. Needless to say, good things tend to happen for Love and the Packers when Reed is involved. His versatility allowed him to lead Green Bay in rushing on a day where two Packers running backs were carted off the field in the second quarter. Whether you hand it to him or whether you throw it to him, Reed has a knack for making plays. And on an offense that's 21st in points per game, the rookie should be utilized heavily throughout the second half of this season. While we're talking about the second half of the season, though, Jameis Winston should be the same starting quarterback for the rest of the way. Go check out my recent practice point of view for more on that. And here's that answer to the trivia question, the one I teased at the top. I'll see y'all right back here tomorrow, Proctor's people.